Hello, and welcome back to the Day 2 General Session Talks. So over the years, we asked the community about their top obstacles to things that they want to achieve. And almost every year, it is audit that strikes the most fear, dread, and frustration, probably because of the special power they have to generate findings that are seen at the highest levels of the organization, and their use of sometimes decades-old audit practices. I am personally grateful for all the work that Clarissa Lucas has done. She is Director of Technology Audit at Nationwide Insurance, based in the United States, and is one of the largest mutual insurance companies. So over the past two years, for reasons I don't quite fully understand, she has presented at this conference with incredibly specific and useful advice to people who work with audit. And amazingly, she and her team have shared very specific techniques on overcoming audit issues concerning separation of duties and change approvals. So in years past, she presented with auditors on her team. But this year, to my utter surprise and shock, she had planned on co-presenting with someone in technology leadership at Nationwide, which, to put it lightly, is just simply not normally done. She is presenting with Todd Bickley, an Associate Vice President of Information Risk Management, responsible for the identity and access management systems. This is a shared service, which is such an important security control because so many major applications rely upon it. They describe one of the most startling audit engagement models I have ever seen. In fact, it's one of the most startling presentations I've ever seen, period. I genuinely believe that they are on the frontier of revolutionizing internal audit practices for the entire profession. And I don't say this lightly, as I've seen decades of audit talks from the ISACA and IIA communities. So here is Clarissa and Todd to talk about what they did, why they did it, and the value they created. What comes to your mind when you find out that the auditors are coming to do a, re a review of your processes? Go ahead and put those thoughts into the chat. Now, I imagine most of you aren't jumping for joy, and uh, a lot of you probably aren't typing things into the chat like, we're having a great time or enjoyable. Now, what if I told you that it's not only possible to enjoy a highly collaborative audit, but that you also have the tools to get there? I'm Clarissa Lucas, and I'm here with Todd Bickley. Together, we'll guide you through Nationwide's journey to agile auditing, where you'll learn about the benefits you can experience in an audit performed with agility. You'll also learn valuable insights on how you can work together with your auditors towards a collective value-added outcome and have fun along the way. I currently lead Nationwide's technology audit team. My team and I help Nationwide achieve its objectives by providing assurance on key risks and controls. We also help management see around the corner to provide advice on emerging risks. I've been with Nationwide for about nine years and in my current role for a little over three. Before taking on this adventure leading the technology audit team, I've been in various roles in audit, risk management, and compliance. And outside of work, I chauffeur my eight-year-old son to hockey practices, and I enjoy pretty much everything Star Wars with my husband and my son. Todd? Thank you, Clarissa. Hi, my name is Todd Bickley. I'm currently the Identity and Access Management product owner uh, for Nationwide and was formerly the Identity and Access Management product manager. Uh, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, I've been at Nationwide for a little over 20 years now, uh, and I've covered a spectrum of technologies here. I did start off an IAM team uh, actually as an engineer, uh, and I've sort of done full circle here over the last few years and came back to lead the IAM team uh, because I love the IAM technologies. And, and the reason I love IAM technologies is because uh, as, as the world moves to a zero trust model um, to, to secure our associates' data and our members' data, um, making sure people have the right access to the right things is critically important. And that's what IAM does. Uh, and given that it's critically important, um, the controls that we use to manage that are also critically important. Uh, and our audit partners like Clarissa um, also help us manage our, our control hygiene uh, to make sure that we are doing things the right way. So having a, a good beneficial relationship, make them, making them feel part of our team uh, when they come in to do these audits is, 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 is really critical to our success. So I appreciate uh, Clarissa uh, inviting me to this session and uh, look forward to talking to everybody about uh, how we made this happen. Um, so who is Nationwide? Uh, Nationwide's a U.S.-based company. Um, we don't sell any products or services outside of the USA. Uh, historically, we were uh, an insurance company uh, with, a, with, with, with a financial background. And now, really, 
Uh, we're, we're actually a pretty large financial services company. Um, you can see a couple of stats up there, uh, but we're number one uh, in state-sponsored 457 plans. Uh, we're number one in, in selling agriculture insurance to farm uh, and ranches, number two in corporate life. And overall, we're, we're the number eight uh, overall property and casualty insurer uh, in the U.S. Uh, we have about 28,000 uh, U.S.-based associates. Um, and in terms of kind of where, where we are with, with rankings uh, across, we are uh, number 25 uh, out of 100 for Fortune's best places to work. Uh, we're number 50 out of 100 uh, for our best workplaces for uh, diversity. Uh, and community involvement uh, is, a, is a very big uh, priority for Nationwide. Um, we're, a, we're a big sponsor of Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. In fact, it's Nationwide Children's Hospital. Uh, volunteering, giving back to our, our local communities whether it's in Columbus or, or a lot of the other satellite cities that we're in uh, is very important. And it's actually one of one, one of the things that uh, is one of our big objectives every year. And it's, it's one of the reasons that attracts uh, a lot of people to this company is because not only do you do good work to protect people's futures, uh, you're doing work in your community to help everybody, whether you're a nationwide consumer or not. So let's talk a little bit about um, what we've done uh, in terms of our, our product model journey for IAM. Uh, so identity nexus management uh, kind of encompasses uh, all of all of your standard IAM technologies. We've got single sign-on and multi-factor. We house all the authentication repositories, all the authorization repositories, um, all those standard things. Um, we started a product model journey uh, really late in 2019 uh, with, with kind of a focus on implementing all those.